I still think there's a real distinct lack of people in Hollywood who do get cancelled for every reason they get cancelled for, who don't just accept it gracefully and move on. Because it's not like none of these people are going to have to work in Walmart, right? Unless, you know, things get really bad. It's very unlikely if you get cancelled and you're somebody in the entertainment industry, you're going to have to be packing, flipping groceries somewhere at Walmart. It's not going to happen. You're not going to go that far. So if that's the case, why not just work in the industry? Why not become an agent? Why not, I don't know, start up a boutique studio somewhere? Why not go to like what we see here in this article? Why not move to another country and restart your flipping acting career? Like that could be something to do as well. But people, I don't know, they just hold on to the dream that they're going to come back in again. And we've seen so far, especially in the court of public opinion, if you've been cancelled in that way, it's really difficult to come back unless you're really talented to got a lot of money. So when I saw this story about Amber Heard, it was pretty, you know, I thought props to her. Regardless of what you think about the woman, we're not going to get into the case and shit. We all know what happened. But I think this is the graceful way to accept that the public consensus on you has changed no one really likes you anymore. You're going to find it hard to get roles in Hollywood because you're bad for PR, because of what happened. Even if they agree with you and they, they think Johnny Depp is a bad guy and you're the good person, no one's going to be happy to kind of put money behind you. So if that's the case, just accept it with grace, like Amber Heard's doing, and move to another country. And this is courtesy of page six. It says, Amber Heard quits Hollywood and moves to Madrid. And the report says, Amber Heard has reportedly quit Hollywood and moved to Madrid. The quote says here, I can reveal that Heard has quit Hollywood and quietly relocated to Spain with her young daughter, Ona who's, how do you say that? Onag. Onag or Onaya? Onag. I don't say it. O-O-N-A-G-H. Um, nice name though. Um, according to the journalist, a friend of Heard, she's, she's bilingual in Spanish and is happy there, raising her daughter away from all the noise. The pal also told the outlet the 37-year-old actress may one day return to Tinseltown. This, I think, is a really, really good move, personally. I think this is a really good move. Why do I think this is a good move? I think this is a good move because if you're familiar with um, you know, the European market overall, especially places like Spain, Italy, France, the flipping television and film industry there is booming. So if she becomes bilingual, or if she, she is bilingual, if she adds another language to her arsenal, maybe Italian, I'd probably go for French, she will be she won't be flipping she'd be having to like she'd be inundated with offers there are so many roles that she could do especially looking the way that she does so the idea you know of her kind of accepting her hollywood cancellation gracefully and decided to move across is really a good idea just look at netflix there's many many spanish flipping series on netflix out there that she could flip in you know smash and do well in especially um you know again given what she looks like you know an attractive white woman blonde and stuff like she's not going to be sure of roles and i just i'm curious why we don't see more people doing it, especially these like LA comedian types, right? I think of someone like a Brian Callum being a good example. Instead of trying to film like shitty movies for the Daily Wire and Ben Shapiro's nonsense and whatnot, why not just, you know, relocate somewhere else and start your acting career, especially if you actually care about acting, yeah? and you're not just like in it for the association with Hollywood and you want to be cool and you want to appear like you're doing something. Like if you're actually in it for the craft, Go into another location, go to another country, even moving into the UK, you could probably restart your career here pretty easily. But they don't want to, you know, it requires work, it requires a lot of money, time, and shit. So they'd probably just rather just stay what they're doing, what they're doing. Um, anyway, to continue to quote, I don't think she's in any hurry to return to Hollywood, but she'll probably come back when this time is right for the right project, a friend explained. So, yeah. I like it. I think it's a good idea. I've watched a clip of her actually speaking Spanish. She actually does sound pretty bilingual. Um, let's actually see it here. Um, she actually sounds legit. Amber Heard uh, speaking Spanish. Um, so I think it's going to be pretty well good for her. Rega again, regardless of what you think about the case, <clears throat> I think it's going to be work. It's going to work out pretty, pretty well for this lady. Let's put this one down here. Let's put this on. Amber Heard speaks perfect Spanish. Hopefully this doesn't get me fucking copyright striked as well. These fucking cunts. I'm preserving the house. How do you treat Miami? Muy bien. Bueno, no he salido. <laughs> nunca, nunca he salido del hotel. Yo he ido aquí todo el día. Pero <laughs> Jesus, man. She's got some hairs on her, isn't it? God damn. The mom, mama nunca, milk has... Nunca he salido del hotel. Yeah, 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 yeah. The milkers are milking, isn't it, eh? 
todo el día. ¿Pero has estado en Miami antes? Sí, sí, muchas veces. Me encanta Miami. Me encantó la película. Ah, y me gracias. gustaría saber cuál fue tu parte favorita de haber participado en esta película. Eh, hay muchas cosas, ¿eh? um, pero tengo que decir la verdad para verlo. Después, como ya terminada, completa. Yeah, decent, 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 decent accent there. Anyway, let's stop that before I, I start producing some man milk in my trousers. Let's move on from that one. <laughs> let's move on before I have to start, you know. <laughs> before, I have to, before I have to take a, take a break, you know. <laughs> let's relax, let's not watch too much. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'll let her shit on my bed any day, mate. I'll tell you that one. I'll tell you that much, mate, all right? I'll let her defecate my fucking... <laughs> I'll let her defecate my duvet any time. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> oh, mate, honestly, you know what it is. You know what it is. <laughs> Yo, anyway, anyway. Deep breaths. Let's actually drink some water as Uche said actually. I'm, I'm getting too thirsty. I need a I need a bottle of water. Oh. Anyway, anyway, too thirsty. And it's a story to tell. Mad ropes. Call me the ropes man, mate. Call me the ropes man. Big up ropes man, actually, wherever he is. No jumper OG. Anyway.